wide-ranging travels of Nikita Khrushchev bring Mr. K at last to Paris, where he, Mrs. K, and his party receive a full-dress welcome from President de Gaulle. The 11-day state visit will include pre-summit talks between the two leaders, whose differences in personality and philosophy seem reflected in their contrasting appearance as they cross the field for the welcoming ceremonies. Security precautions as heavy as any in recent history were clamped down weeks in advance of Khrushchev's arrival. The first Russian government chief to visit France since Tsar Nicholas in 1896, his visit tokens flattering acceptance of France as a full-fledged great power, in itself a victory of General de Gaulle. Khrushchev mixed flattery of France with warnings against German militarism in public speeches, but de Gaulle rebuffed his attempts to drive a wedge in current Franco-West German good feeling. Said de Gaulle, Germany's former ambition without limits is a thing of the past. Ahead for the two statesmen lie many more skirmishes and encounters, all for the most part set against the public observances and ceremonials that have become a modern tradition. An essential part of Khrushchev's visit to Paris is the procession to the Arc de Triomphe, where he pays tribute at the eternal flame to the unknown soldier of France. A stirring memorial and reminder to the men who sway nations' destinies of the grief and horror of past wars. Thank you.